Hi guys, welcome to the Storm Raven Chapter House Extension Kit Part 2. Uh, this is the work I've done so far. Um, I've put in the blank in play for the intake vent. I've added the second half of the top part of the hull. And underneath here we have the wiring for the position lights which will be through here. As you can see there's the little um, circuit board just there behind the turret where the turret will be otherwise coming through underneath the thrusters through a channel I carved through here and through a channel there which I obviously had to fill back in with green stuff across underneath the missile pods and to where the LED is situated right where the position lights underneath the side thrusters um, to hide this little circuit board I created this little um, set of panelling as you can see it's got some detailing on there some screens of course this will be that way up so the screens will be up some pipe work there panelling with rivets and there's also two little holes there for the positive and negative wires here um, I shall assemble that shortly and show you that in a minute as they will go out here along to there along to the switch where I drill two more holes out to this side and then we have the magnetized intake vent there's four magnets there and that perfectly snaps into place just there in its new position the battery cell which is used is this little button cell which fits nicely under there of course that will be held into place and covers perfectly ok the other parts I've done so far is attach the two side holes together the grey knight insignia I've put there the tiniest bit of green stuff in just some mould issues there same with this side not there just down here just to reform that corner now here is the new section of the hull there the lower hull um, this is the checkerboarding I was talking about which I put on there now to match up with this section the original section these two will fit to there to complete the flooring and you have to modify for the chapter house extension here to modify the thrusters now originally there would have been a little sort of triangle piece coming out here I had to saw that off because if I show you I have just undercoated one of these and uh, I'll show you how this one fits in here oh, it goes in that side, it hides those wires there perfectly I'll just go over like that you would be intruding into the new compartment so that's why you had to chop off a little triangly bit there it's not a problem, it comes off nice and clean, only leaves a slight small block there but it's hardly noticeable from the underneath of the craft that's the story so far I shall install this the little hidey hole for the um, circuit board and I shall show you how I've root rooted wires then there'll be time for undercoating thank you okay I have now fitted my little bit of panelling over the circuit board there now perfectly covered as you can see from that way up those monitors are the right way up now um, the wires come out of the back there come through to where the switch is and I'll see where the intake vent will cover the battery and hide it all the switch will be accessible through the rear hatch which will see be there 
Uh, next stage now, the wiring is complete, is undercoating. Um, I will actually, as you can see I've done a little bit there, I will be covering these up with the actual panel in, it's basically there to protect the LEDs. Tiny bit of masking tape on the front there to protect the LEDs through the front. I'll paint by hand anything that needs to be put on there. Okay, uh, my colour scheme is not bulgur metal as most people do do. Very nice. I shall show you. My colour scheme is actually Codex Grey. And another difference, most Warhammer enthusiasts will notice, so I do not use a traditional red. I have gone with Regal Blue. So all my counterpoints where you would usually see red on Grey Knights is going to be Regal Blue. This is my Land Raider and suffered a bit of damage as you can see here. I'm in the process of rebuilding it. Um, I may do another video on some of these things. And also, another example. I have my Thunderhawk gunship. Again, it's not quite finished. Um, I've put it on the side back burner now while I complete the Storm Raven. Um, as you can see, I've gone for the black, white, and blue, or black, white, and red, as is traditional. Um, magnetized quite a lot of things. Uh, salt cannon, a uh, salt cannon, battle cannon is magnetized, so I can interchange it with the turbo laser. Also the cockpit here is magnetised, as you can see there, there's two grey knights piloting here, so they're the standard pilots. I've also used um, one of the front hatches from uh, the, that's a rhino from panel that is actually, it's got some inquisition detailing there. Also on the wing there you can see the other set of Grey Knight icons from the Storm Raven. Again, in the blue section there, so all my counterpoint is blue, not red. So I shall no doubt make a separate video again for completing this, but I have a lot of pictures in process. So I shall put like a slideshow of them first, so we can see the building process, and to which stage I am now, and I shall carry on in video form. So thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.